so it's true, I did lose my mind last night. And I went through one of my favorite, probably my most favorite book in the world. Um, it's, uh, it's by John A. Keel. It's called The Cosmic Question. You see that? That's, that's a great book. It's, um, it's also published as The Eighth Tower. Um, or at least it was in the, the US originally. And I do have... Um, I do actually have some of the original... Like the first edition of the US and the hub. I'd cover it's over there anyway, um, but I just always love having some of these paperbacks close by because you never know when you're going to have to, when the urge will come to actually read a little bit of Keel. And he's just, he's an amazing guy. I um, I don't think I've really convinced a lot of my friends of that yet, but he's, he's a really, really switched on, an amazing writer and I don't know, I always thought anything to do with the, the paranormal or ufology or whatever was all a bit crackpot. And I read the Mothman prophecies and I thought, my god, this man, this man knows what he's talking about. It, it was amazing. Um, and subsequently I got um, another book, Operation Trojan Horse, which is, which is amazing as well, but I think, you know, and I have all the books. Now, I have duplicates of a lot of books. I, um, I give copies away to friends in an attempt to convert them, but, um, you know, it doesn't always work. In fact, um, my friend, one of my friends, I won't mention her by name. Oh, ow, that hurt. Um, she read it and got totally freaked out, of, out about it and couldn't sleep at night and isn't really going to read any more Keel books, which is a shame because they're just, they're wonderful. They're really, really intelligent and thought-provoking. But anyway, getting back to, I feel like I've run full circle, but getting back to what I was saying originally was last night I lost my mind around midnight, and I went through this book, which is The Cosmic Question. Let's show it again, just in case you didn't see it the first time. There it is, Cosmic Question, Johnny Keel. Um, I actually went through this book, and I compiled a list of all the questions that were posed by the author, as himself, like in first person, signified through the use of a question mark, and uh, not including quotations from other people or or uh, similar things like that. But anyway, um, I've done that on my blog, and I might on MySpace, and I might include a link on that if I do eventually post this video, but it just, it, I found it fascinating how, how interesting, how thought-provoking these questions were. They seemed even more thought-provoking when completely taken out of context. Just fascinating, compelling things. And I don't know if I should really show you this, but I've got these. Which probably don't look that much on, on webcam, but there are coffee coated, coffee coated. Now let's try that again. They're actually chocolate coated coffee beans. They're fabulous. I sort of got milk, um, milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. A variety. A really good. I'll keep me up all night. Be fabulous. So yeah, um, that's probably all I really have to say about that, but read this book if you can get it and if you can't maybe get the Mothman Prophecies because it's, it's wonderful too and I think the Mothman Prophecies might be a little more accessible for a lot of people okay um yeah thanks for watching like my um my crystal ball oh, that's cool I can actually see myself the reflection What do they say about small things amusing small minds? Okay, enough of that.